Well, I definitely want to get into the the little expansion of the article. I, I thought you, you had one of the most significant landmark articles last year in studies that was published. Uh, at least I felt from the ones that we posted on my site is being the most significant and really eye-opening is the epidemiological observations you had on the incidence of cancer uh, related to vitamin D. And I think the, the, the conclusion I, uh, I referenced when I quote your study is that there was a million people who are dying every year because they don't have enough exposure to sunshine worldwide. And in the U.S. it's somewhere about three to 400,000. So those okay, numbers may be off, but if you could expand on that, maybe discuss some of the details and the specifics of the study, that would be great. Okay, this is probably the series of papers out of uh, UC San Diego by uh, Sharif Moore and Cedric Garland and right. uh, Ed Gorman and myself. Yes. Yeah, I've um, got one of these studies in front of me now. It's by it's uh, the one on breast cancer that just came out um, uh, recently, relationship between low ultraviolet B irradiance and higher breast cancer risk in 107 mm -hmm. countries. Mm -hmm. And... Um, what is found when they look at the incidence rates around the world in graphic versus latitude is that at the higher latitudes, the, the rates are much higher than lower latitudes. For example, uh, take um, Iceland is up to 90 um, uh, cases per 100,000 per year. Uh, you go down to um, well, countries near the tropics, it's around 25. So you've got a factor of um, uh, almost four difference between high and low. Now, it turns out most, most breast uh, cancer, most of these uh, industrialized cancers, uh, such as colon, prostate, ovarian, are much higher rates at the higher latitudes than the lower rates. Now, one thing I uh, tried to make sure they did on these studies was look at the effect of diet on uh, the global uh, relation as well as the UVB and vitamin D. And it turns out that um, at the higher latitudes, uh, there's much more animal product um, although it turns out there were different cancers or different uh, uh, important factors. Uh, but nonetheless, it appears that, that the UV effect and the dietary effects are, are, are more or less comparable. In other words, you can say that some of the effect is due to UV, some of the effect is due to diet. Um, if we take um, cancer in general, um, I, I looked up the, in the World Health Organization's database today, and they're about... Um, uh, what is it, 7 million cancer deaths uh, per year in the world in, in 2002. And uh, we're now finding that uh, I, I would say the majority of cancer deaths in the United States are, are vitamin D-sensitive um, uh, uh, cancers. Um, so with our dose-response relationships, we're finding that um, uh, going out to the higher levels, the, 2000, the, the, the 40, 30 to 50 nanograms per milliliter uh, level, we can uh, estimate about a 50% reduction in, in the cancer incidence or mortality rate. That's the cancer incidence rate. Uh, and we have the studies like the LAPI et al. study from um, Nebraska showing the 77% reduction in, in um cancer incidence with calcium and vitamin D. We have the, the Canadian study showing that breast cancer metastasis is greatly reduced with, with, with higher levels of calcidiol. So if, if we assume then that most of the cancer deaths are in the higher latitudes and that, that people can somehow obtain the equivalent of, of 2,000 to 4,000 IU per day, then I would estimate that there are around 30% around of the cancer deaths could be preventable with higher levels of vitamin D. Mm -hmm. So that would, um, oh, that would actually uh, uh, correlate to about two, two million um, uh, um, deaths per year. Two million worldwide. Worldwide. Mm -hmm. Wow. And how about the U.S. instance? It would be uh, well, two hundred thousand, uh, three hundred, two hundred fifty. Okay, we have about a million cancer case, uh, was it a, over a million cancer cases, and about six hundred thousand cancer deaths. Right, so two hundred thousand. 200,000 uh, deaths in the United wow. States could be prevented. Hello, this is Dr. Mercola, and I sure hope you enjoyed the interview as much as I did, but I want you to know it's only a small segment of the complete two to three hour full interview I did. And those interviews are available to members of my inner circle. And every month, members of my inner circle will receive a complete two to three hour interview of one of the top health experts in the world 
who is willing to share their secrets they've learned over a lifetime to help you and your family take control of your health. In addition to that, Inner Circle members also receive a two-hour DVD full of health information that you can use as an alternative to watching commercial TV and a 24-page printed newsletter that's mailed directly to your home every month. And it is one of the best values I've ever put together. It's a complete no-brainer. I encourage you to join. There's absolutely no risk at all because they're put forward. And for any reason at all, you are not completely 100% satisfied. My customer service team has clear, specific instructions to give you a prompt refund. So it doesn't get any better than that. And I encourage you to take advantage of this special offer so that you and your family members can start to take control of your health.